What up, B-Squad? It is your boy, JB, and I am here today, you guys, with um, episode number 13 of Abbott Elementary, you guys. So next week is the season finale, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy, but I'm bummed at the same time because this season of Abbott, I have really, truly enjoyed it. So this episode is titled Smith Playground. Now, before we get into it, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you guys aren't subscribed yet, I need you guys to do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know the routine. You can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your post notifications. And with that out of the way, you guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this episode of Avid Elementary, shall we? <laughs> All right, you guys, this episode was hilarious from beginning to the end. I cracked up. So you guys remember in last week's episode, Jacob was coming up with the field trip for the students, right? So we're going to the park. And so Jacob comes into the gymnasium where everybody is with a field trip worksheet. And I was like, Jacob, it is a field trip and we're going to the park. Let these kids have fun. Like nobody wants to go to the park and do work, especially, and nobody wants to go on a field trip and do work. <laughs> I, I, I remember, I remember in school where I had a teacher where we went somewhere and it was it was a field trip, right? And she wanted us to take down things that we remembered so that way we can talk about it in class. It's like, ma'am, ain't nobody gonna remember this. This is something for us to get out of class. So what the hell are you talking about? Jot down some notes, girl, you and them notes. <laughs> How about that? Because nobody was interested at all. And she took us, we went out to eat afterwards, I remember. And she was like, so, you know, she was, it was so hilarious because she started asking people questions about, I forgot where we went, but she started asking people questions. Me and my friends was like, ain't nobody, wasn't nobody, like, girl, wasn't nobody taking no notes and shit. Like, it's a trip to get out of class. But we did have some, you know, you know, y'all always got those people who, teachers pets who answered the questions because they did take some notes. I was like, better you than me because I had fun. I wasn't, at, I wasn't at school. I went on the school grounds. I wasn't in class. I didn't have to go to my next, I, like, this field trip, it literally was from one class period to the next class period. So I was missing some class periods. So baby, I ain't gave, I ain't gave no one iota of an F about that, right? So Barbara, Melissa, and even Morton, and Ava told, basically telling Jacob like, uh, nah, it's a field trip, bruh, let it go. So Jacob saw as Gregory put Janine's jacket over her and, <laughs> damn it, it flipped the camera, my bad, you guys. But Jacob saw as he put um, his jacket on over Janine. So Jacob decided that he wanted to go up to Gregory and ask Gregory like, yo, what's going on with you and Janine? So Gregory let him know that he is going to tell Janine today how he feels about her. And I was like, say what now? But I mean, the writings are on the wall when it comes to Janine and Gregory about how they feel about each other. It's no secret to anybody, but those two that they genuinely like each other but we'll talk about it as we get into it i gotta bend down and pick up this one you guys my bad for dropping it oh picked it up all right you guys so now we are on we are on the school bus right so janine went to go sit with jacob J jacob's big mouth decided to tell janine that you know maybe there's another seat that you can sit in on the bus and she was like what are you talking about so he says a little birdie named gregory told me that um you know he was going to tell you that he likes you and so janine was like are you do you have a do you actually have a bird named gregory or are you talking about gregory and so he said his his bird's name is something but she would know that if she came over and so but no he said gregory told him that and he asked janine does she still like gregory and she says yes that she does but you know, she tried to talk to him at the beginning of the year. And so Gregory, not Gregory, but Jacob suggested that Janine go and have a conversation with Gregory. And she went up there and sat with Gregory and it was awkward AF. But let's pause here and move forward. Now back over to Abbott, we see Mr. Johnson, right? 
So Mr. Johnson is gonna be working on his to-do list of things to do. Then we move back over to, um, we move back over to the, the park, right? At one point, oh, I hadn't even got there yet, so I'm about to get ahead of myself. So what it is, is Abbott is there with li the school Liberty, right? So one of Melissa's students came up to her to tell her, Miss Shimenti, um, another student pushed me. And so Melissa was like, okay, well tell me who was the student that pushed you? And she said, it was that student right there. And the student that pushed her is one of Liberty's students. So Melissa went up to the teacher and she was like, you know, your, my, 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 my child told me that your kid pushed her. She was like, well, that's funny because my kid told me that yours pushed her. And Melissa was like, okay, how about we just have them both apologize to each other? The Liberty teacher, she didn't seem like she want to go for that. I was like, oh, Melissa, we're going to have to put a smack down on sis right here because she ain't looking like she want to go with that, line, that, that right? So we move over to Gregory and Janine, who are two oddballs, right? So Janine asked Gregory to take a picture of her, right? So he went to go take the picture, and then a text message came by, and it was Manny asking Janine out to dinner. And I was like, oh, is that going to put a damper in Gregory asking her out on a date and telling her how he feels? Now, we move back over with Barbara and Melissa. They saw as Liberty students are cutting in front of their kids, right? So they could decide to go say, hey, some, you know, like your kids are cutting our kids off. Why they say that? Because them teachers are like, <laughs> that's funny because my kids are saying your kids are hogging this. And so in hindsight, so it sounds like it's payback for what's going on, right? Then, you know, they, they, they said, you know, the woman got a little snippy with Barbara. She's like, you don't have to get snippy. And then they made a little dig at them working at Abbott. And, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got to pull these, like, you know how it is when you're ready to fight, especially as a black, you know, with black, because I have black, I have cousins. And baby, the first thing to come off them earrings be the first things to come off. Hell, even with me, because when, when I'm ready to go, because even with my earrings, I will say, okay, let, let's take these earrings out. Let's keep the rings on, because we about to box, right? <laughs> but because I was ready for it. I was like, Melissa, attack, get her. But they walked away, right? Now we'll pause here and we'll move forward. Now, I did forget this part. Back at Abbott, Mr. Johnson, right? Mr. Johnson went down to the basement. Now the lady, uh, she was telling him like, Ava don't want people to go down there. And so Mr. Johnson went down to the basement and there was a door with a pen pad on it, right? So Mr. Johnson just decided to put 6969 and boom, the door opened. And it is a, I mean, it is a bathroom with a toilet that greets Ava. I was like, damn, the toilet greets her. Hmm. Okay. So Mr. Johnson finna have fun with this toilet. Now, I honestly don't blame Mr. Johnson, right? Now, we see as um, <laughs> Morton, Morton, Morton. I'm starting to see more and more why Greg, not Gregory, but Jacob don't like Morton because Morgan, Morton sucks because you guys know Morton is going through a divorce, right? So him and his wife are arguing about the grill and he was like, what does a woman need with the grill? And I was like, excuse you, Morton. So you're sexist and misogynistic. Well, okay. Again, I see why Jacob don't like Mr. Morton. He sucks. He, he really does suck. Really sucks. I want to go back to when Mr. Morton wasn't talking because when Jacob couldn't figure out why Morton didn't like him, I want to go back to that because now that Mr. Morton has opened his mouth, I wish he would stay closed. Next up, we see Janine and Gregory. These fools are on the swings, just swinging. I was like, did y'all forget about the kids? Because <laughs> I was literally sitting there thinking, because I was looking at Janine and I was looking at Gregory. I was like, where are the kids at? Where are your kids? And they, the camera turns around and there are the kids like, can we swing? I was like, that is a damn shame. Then we see Janine on the monkey bars <laughs> and asking for Gregory's help because Janine is short. <laughs> and she, she's like, I mean, dangling from the ground. It was hilarious to me. Hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. 
So, also we see as the crew, so they were getting ready to go to lunch, right? And as they were getting ready to go to lunch, they were looking for their food because they had put it in a certain place. The teachers from Liberty done put their food in the hot sun. I was like, ugh. Now that's just rude and nasty. If you're going to move their food, could you at least have put it to a place where the sun isn't beating down on it? Because depend on what they depend on what they took, there are certain things that you just don't eat that you put in the hot sun. And then they were talking about peanut butter and, je- and peanut butter. I was like, you definitely don't want to eat no hot ass peanut butter. But OK, I guess I guess. Right. So we see Gregory talking to Jacob. Right. And so Gregory, not Gregory, but Jacob is asking Gregory, like, did you tell Janine? He was like, no, he's like, the next time we're alone, I'm going to tell Janine how I feel. <laughs> and so at this point, the teachers from Liberty and the, and the teachers from Abbott, they getting into it with each other. Right. And Ava is telling them that they're childish up until she saw her so her soror, Crystal. You guys remember Crystal when she and um. When she and Gregory, what episode was that? When they did that, uh, they were on that panel where Tariq was taking score. <laughs> That's when we met Crystal played by Tatiana Ali. So when she found out that it was Crystal, she was like, oh, hell no. This is your school, Crystal? Oh, hell no. We finna beat these bitches' asses. I was like, oh, my God. So they decide to have a relay race. And... You know, somebody asked, where are Jacob, not Jacob, but uh, Gregory and Janine? Gregory and Janine are over there by the slides. And Mr. Morton is on the phone arguing with his soon-to-be ex-wife, right? So we see as, um, you know, they were, it was Barbara who asked about Gregory and Janine. And (laughs) Abel's like, Janine is short and Gregory, no, 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 no. But Ava, not Ava, but Barbara feels like they need everybody on deck. And I was like, okay, cool. So Gregory and Janine, they ended up going down the slide, right? And they were locked, they, their eyes were locked. And Gregory was about to tell, you know, Janine how he felt about it. And up walks Ava. And again, Mr. Morton is in the background going off. And he came over to, to basically put a whole damper on this. To let it be known that his soon-to-be ex-wife, yeah, they they both were teachers and they their classrooms were next to each other. I was like, oh, this is finna put a pause in Gregory telling Janine how he feels. And lo and behold, it did. It absolutely 100 percent did. Cause Gregory then was talking to the camera, you know, the camera crew basically saying, you know, he thought about how if this everything could go right but he didn't think about if things could go wrong so he's gonna hold off for right now i was like oh okay i mean i guess y'all i mean y'all been dangling in the air for a few three seasons now right the thing is because i saw an interview i forgot where what show tyler was i forgot what show tyler was on and he also said that he doesn't want for Janine and Gregory to be in a relationship with each other. And I was like, I can, I can get, I got where he was coming from. Let me know what you guys think. Right. So then we get to the relay race and Abbott ended up winning. Right. But the kids were nowhere around. The kids had actually found a way to get along with each other and peacefully coexist. Whereas the adults were being childish and that was it. And so we get back over to Abbott Mr. Johnson was going through his keys also, by the way, and there was one key that he couldn't figure out where it went to. I was like, Mr. Johnson, that's probably the key to the school. So Mr. Johnson walks out the door and it's locked. And then he thought about it. The key that he threw away was the key to the school. But by that time, the bus pulled back up and he was able to get back into school. And he told Ava that he was going to go down to that bathroom. She was like, you didn't. He's like, yep, he did. And she ran towards that bathroom. I was like, <laughs> it's, it's over now, Ava. Mr. Johnson knows about it. So, yeah, you guys. Overall, really good episode. I enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comment section below. Please, you guys, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications and share the video. And until the next time, you guys, stay safe. 
Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Be blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next video, you guys. And like I said, next week is going to be the season finale of Abbott. Man, I'm not looking forward to it. Because this has been a really, really, really good season. I've enjoyed it immensely. But yeah, you guys, we'll discuss it in the comment section. And I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye, guys.